Hello everyone, this is the Axle Shifter here, and this is the 10th episode of Multiverse Wars. Now, this big Multiverse Wars episode was originally going to be the video game Free For All, but that got copyright strike due to some music, so this time we're going to be simplifying things this time. Instead of some big Multiverse Wars, I'm probably going to be saving it later, it's later in the future. I'm going to be going back to simple terms, back to the very first episode of this series. Remember Superman versus Metro Man? Well, today, this is going to be a rematch. But in this rematch, I'm going to be featuring DCEU Superman from the Zack Snyder films versus Metro Man from Megamind. So, both of these are from the big screen. So, I think it's more fitting that way rather than the DCAU version of Superman. So, yeah, let's see how this rematch will play out. Let's go. But I'm only going to be talking about... DCEU Superman, and then I'll talk about who would win. So, if you want to learn about Metro Man, check out the very first episode. The link will be in the description. So, alright, let's go now. Now, as we all know, this is the Zack Zach Snyder's version of Superman. So, that being, this is the Superman from the DC Extended Universe, or in short, DCEU. But for now, we're going to be talking about this version of Superman's powers and abilities, but this origin's pretty similar to other versions of Superman, because... As we all know, in this version of in the DC Universe, Superman was the last few survivors of Krypton's destruction, and his home planet Krypton was dying at that time, and he was eventually born and given to his new parents, taking on the name of Clark Joseph Kent, as he also takes on not only being a superhero, but is also an alien journal also a journalist of the Daily Planet. But now, let's discuss his powers and abilities. This includes flight, enhanced senses, x-ray vision, and gamma ray vis visual capabilities. He also has heat vision as well, which he allows for quick good range attacks. He also has some pretty fast speed, as instated in the pretty much the DCEU DC movie wiki. It's basically shown that Superman has lightning fast reflexes, so this makes him pretty fast as well. He was also fast enough so fast that he flew from the North Pole to Africa. He also so fast that he flew to a nearby satellite in his fight against Zod. He should also pretty easily be able to keep up with Wonder Woman and Doomsday, and those guys are pretty fast as well. He, is, he was also so fast that he licked Wonder Woman and even managed to overwhelm the Flash himself during combat. The same Flash that has that same connection to the Speed Force, obviously. So that would mean that Superman is pretty quick. But that's not the limits though. We're also going to be talking about his durability. It should most likely be around planet level as she could likely be scaled to or be at the very least on par to to the mother box. And the mother box is pretty powerful as this is the same one that Cyborg has been constructive out of after he pretty much died and then it was brought back to life by the energy of it. It's the same energy that was the one that was pretty much bringing the parademons to life after all, and Doomsday's henchmen. Also, as for intelligence, it's no surprise that this guy is an absolute genius. Due to him being one of the greatest the engineered of this Kryptonian stinker client, he's also pretty smart being able to get his job as a journalist, and he's also pretty smart with tactical battle planning during fights and take pretty much saving the world. But as for his weaknesses on the other hand, yep, of course, it's kryptonite. It can also not invincible after all. This is one of the weaker incarnations of Superman when you compare it to his other power versions like Pre-Crisis or maybe other universes like Injustice or New 52 or pretty much anywhere else. But yeah, he's still pretty powerful. And now it's time I talk about who would actually win this matchup. So yeah, I would say unlike the previous battle, pretty much DCAU Superman versus Metro Man, I say but for this matchup, this fight is actually a lot closer because Superman has shown to be pretty fast thanks to his lightning fast reflexes and being able to keep on par with the Flash himself. But as for Metro Man, Metro Man's speed is a completely different story. As I already just talked about in the very first Multiverse Wars episode, Metro Man was able to travel so fast that everyone appeared as statues. Yeah. That's pretty quick, so basically, Superman is pretty strong and intelligent and pretty powerful in his own right. But as for Metro Man, 
Metro Man has pretty much been shown to have no real weaknesses, really, other than he can obviously be defeated by beings that wave stronger than him. While Superman, on the other hand, has shown to be a bit of weaknesses, like Kryptonite, and also he pretty easily be driven to anger when loved ones are threatened, so he can very easily be getting out of control once you anger him enough. But as for Metro Man, Metro Man hasn't really suffered through that yet. Not really, at least through the Mega Mind series. But yeah, so basically so. And yeah, this does give Superman an experience advantage because he does know what it's like to lose someone you love. Metro Man, on the other hand, doesn't really have to worry about that. And once again, I would say that Metro Man does have his far superior speed. And of course, this is shown in this movie at the end when he was explaining why he left Metro City. So I would say that Metro Man overall is still more powerful than DCEU Superman. Now of course that could change when the a new Zack Snyder Cut movie comes out and Superman's full potential could be realized. But I would still say that in the end, Metro Man would finally grab a win over Superman. Well, at least in an alternate universe case. So yeah, I would say the winner of this battle is instead Metro Man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this rematch video and more Multiverse Wars videos will be coming during the way. And they will be a lot bigger. So without, yeah, goodbye.